Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for another random rant. And today's random rant is going to be taking your time and letting fate kind of find what you need to have and don't be pushing stuff, don't be so aggressive in things. Um, some of you know, watch this videos and watch my channel and stuff, you've been looking for a house for quite some time and have not found the perfect house. We had some houses when we first started looking, we were way too picky, but at the time, we didn't need a house that bad because my father-in-law wasn't wanting to move down here. So we were kind of just trying to be preemptive. We we're going to buy another house, um, either remodel it and move into it, remodel ours and make it a rental until he needed some place to live more, with more assistance closer to us, moving down here into our house kind of thing once we kick the tenants out and go that route. But he, we weren't really pushing the envelope that much. And then he broke his hip, I don't know, nine months ago or so. And then I had the motorcycle wreck and whatnot. And then we kind of got motivated to start trying to buy something a little bit more uh, motivated with it because we knew coming out of the um, rehab he was going to go to assisted living so he couldn't go back home he's just too far away for us to be able to go and help and check on him and take care of him and stuff so we kind of had a lot of that hassle to deal with and it was definitely we started pushing some offers we started making offers on houses that were lack of a better term um the least of all evils that we were like okay would this house work could this house work would this be available and the whole thing came down as it was like two years out to build we went wait two or three years to get a house built because this whole this whole pandemic thing and whatnot it was really delaying the build times and stuff so we were really not wanting to be living him and just living for three years because he's running out of money by then so it was not going to be a thing that was going to work for us so we had to figure something out so our goal was to buy anything at this point we started making offers on stuff kept getting turned down our offers by because other people were offering cash and we had to get a mortgage to buy our second house and whatnot and even with like you know half down they're like still like i don't know afraid the bank wouldn't loan us the money or something i have no idea full paid for house that has collateral stuff also and stuff didn't matter so we made a couple offers we had one house under contract the sellers backed out on us um after inspection after appraisal was already paid so we're out a bunch of money like 1200 1300 bucks we were out and then they just backed out and they said we're not selling it so i'm like are you shitting me i know it's illegal to do but apparently it is so we had that whole thing um been searching like crazy made a few different offers had things turned down and just we were just literally the point of buying anything that we can get us into it's just that kind of bit of a desperation thing going on found the house over here on orange tree that we were making an offer on and it would work but it was not gonna be great it was just gonna be a stop fill at best so it was not anything spectacular it was nothing great it was just this will work for us for now. And like I said, the day I closed was the next day I was gonna start making offers on land. Cause I wanna buy land and find out something happened to closing. And I come up $10,000 short to buy my house, whatever. Now I'm stuck with empty land and no house. So I wanted to wait till after that was 100% done. And it was great. Our inspection period was over in a couple days. And literally, the, how's it going? And the day the house went active across the street from us, our, it was our last final day for inspection to be able to back out of the house and not lose our earnest money. And I was just like, holy crap, you gotta be kidding me. It's almost like fate finally gave us a house we wanted. The house is directly across the street from us. Kakai cornered to the south just a little bit. Works out. It's a house we've wanted for a long time. We've talked about how great it'd be. It has a bigger yard, has a third lot, all that stuff. It makes it nicer for us, which would be great. And I was like, okay, this might work. And we had the talk back and forth of, we've for four or five years we talked about if we could get that house, it'd be a great house for us because of the bigger yard and the facts right across the street from the father-in-law it would be absolutely amazing for that whole process so it'd work well and then just out of nowhere boom house pops up on the market I'm like, you gotta be kidding me so it's kind of like we finally got everything else all the stress went through and all the you know get kicked out of their house over there that they canceled on us and stuff and all the offers got turned down it's like they were all just testing us seeing if we were going to hold out strong enough to get the house we want or the house that we need so we were cool we went ahead and put a cancel order on the house we were buying and getting out of it and even if we even if we do lose the five grand i don't care it's worth it to have this one so we're now we're in the process of trying to buy the new house there's a tenant in it we're gonna have to uh, basically pay her to uh, terminate her lease early which again i don't care um it's that whole thing of like if i could have as I break the house down, the house between this one and the one over there on the other side of town, pretty similar. Um, the one on the other side of town had a little better layout, truthfully, for like the um, way the house was laid out, but the yard and stuff was crap and else. I said, if we could have that house over there dropped in here, we could have a brand new roof, had you know newer hauler here, newer AC, all that kind of stuff where this house doesn't. It's got older stuff. The roof has to be replaced and whatnot, but it's 15 grand I got to put out of my pocket. It needs all new flooring. The other house didn't. That's another 10 or 15 grand. But, so my wife, I said, if I could have their house, I'd pay 15 or 20 grand 
easily for the bigger yard. Would have, have a problem, maybe 30 grand, I'd pay for the bigger yard. The fact it's right across the street from where my father-in-law is gonna be living, making our life much easier to check on him and take care of him and stuff, I'd easily pay 15, maybe 30 grand for that as well. So, figure the flooring and the roof, both are 15 grand a piece. Boom, exactly what I paid, just have the bigger yard and across the street from us. And this house, I think, actually is a better house than the house we were looking at across town. It's quite a bit newer, um, has nicer windows, has better doors. Overall, it's in better shape. Unfortunately, it's not quite as good a layout. They haven't had a little bit better layout for where stuff was and whatnot, but it, this house is gonna be great. It's got a great covered lanai in the back, which would be awesome for the dogs talking about there out of the rain and stuff. I'm gonna build a little patio out back for my hot tub and we'll be set split floor plans like the other house was. It's gonna be so many things we're looking forward to that it's gonna be great. So if everything goes as planned, we should be getting possession of it in the month. So by 1st July, we'll have the house and everything will be great. So I guess what this rant is about is don't try and force something if you know it's not right for you just because you're feeling desperate. Because when you start feeling desperate, you don't have the cards to negotiate as well and you end up making decisions that can turn out poorly for you. And this is one of the situations where we were making offers on houses and things that would have been poorer for us in the long run. We know our neighbors here, we're really, like I said, moving across the street. We know everybody. We like the neighborhood. We like the people. It's going to be great. So super stoked about it. Um, cannot believe how happy we are that we're getting this house. Everything's going good. Um, yeah, so the house on the market at 11 o'clock in the morning, 11.04, I think it was a.m. And by 6.30 that night, we had a signed contract. So yeah, you can't beat that seven hours on the market and the house is hopefully ours in 30 days. So we'll see if it all goes well. Hopefully no big jumps, then nothing jumps up. We're gonna try and get the inspection done um, by Friday, Saturday at the latest, and knock that bad boy out of there and start talking to insurance companies about getting insurance on a house with an older roof until we can get a roof on it, so on and so forth. Which, even if we don't, we're paying cash for this house, so it's not that big a deal if it sets without insurance for a few weeks until we get a roof put on it. As much as it terrifies me, it's something I can legally do because I'll have that ability. So yeah, just hold in there, guys. If you're looking for something, it may come around to you. Just takes longer than you think it's gonna do, but you'll eventually get what you want. You don't always get what you need, but sometimes you get what you want. Got that backwards. You don't always get what you want, but sometimes you get what you need. So we're in the process of taking anything we get to get. Instead, we end up with this house that we've been wanting for a long time. So anyway, that's all I got for right now. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, or no, never mind. I'll talk to you guys sometime. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.